the mafia understanding how it's structured is like untangling a big knot of who's in charge and who listens to who let's explore the mafia how the mafia works and how it is structured which is really important at the very top is the boss is the don like the boss who everybody respects and follows underneath him are his important helpers called captains and the people who do the work like soldiers together they make sure everything is done the way the don wants and also look at comparisons from the godfather series so you get a better understanding of how the organization is structured so let's start off with the boss also known as the don at the top of the hierarchy is the boss also known as the don or the godfather the boss holds the ultimate authority and makes key decisions for all the organization they oversee all operations and maintain control over subordinates members in the godfather vito corleone serves as the pointless example of a mafia boss with his strategic leadership power influence over his family and associates sonny corleone the eldest son of vito corleone ascends to the position of leadership within the corleone crime family however sonny never officially becomes the don of the family instead he serves as a de facto leader was his father was shot compared leadership of Vito and Michael Sonny displayed weakness due to his anger and irrational decision making his father even said this later in the scene after Centino was killed Michael Corleone became the don of the or the leader of the Corleone crime family for a short time because of a few important reasons firstly his father's shooting Michael's father Vito Corleone was shot and badly injured by rival gangsters. This event forced Vito to step back from running the family's operation, leaving a gap in the leadership. Temporary needs with his father unable to lead, Michael stepped in to take care of the family affairs, even though he had not been involved in the family business. Before he was not and capable, so he quickly took charge to protect his family and its interests. Strategic move. Michael made some bold and clever moves to defend the family from its enemies. He showed great intelligence and leadership skills, making him a natural choice to lead his family. Father's absence becoming the Don. During this time, Michael effectively became the Don, making decisions and directing the family's operations. However, it's important to note that this was a temporary situation as his father eventually recovered and resumed his position as the true Don long-term leadership. Despite his brief stint as the Don, Michael's leadership ability during his time earned him respect and admiration within the family. Ultimately, circumstances would later lead to Michael permanently assuming the role of the Don after his father's passing. In simple terms, Michael bec became the Don briefly because his father was unable to lead and he stepped up to protect his family and take charge. His intelligence and his strategic thinking helped him to lead the family effectively even though it was only for a short time before his father returned to his position. The next in line is the underboss. The underboss is the second in command and typically acts as the boss's chief advisor. They assist in managing the day-to-day -day operations of the organization and may assume leadership in the boss's absence. Underbosses often have significant authority within the hierarchy and command respect and from lower ranking members. We don't really see an underboss in the Corleone family. In the court, it shows Alfredo as the underboss. However, this was more for namesake. Let's talk about Fredo, who made a very poor done, let alone an underboss for the following reasons. Lack intelligence. Fredo is portrayed as a not very bright or capable individual, especially handling complex situations. Leading a crime family requires intelligence and strategic thinking, which Fredo lacked. Emotional instability. Fredo is emotionally unstable and easily manipulated, as shown in his actions in the godfather don needs to be strong and composed able to be, make tough decisions without swayed by emotions lack of respect within the mafia respect is crucial fredo's weakness and lack of respect from others in the organization would have made it difficult for him to command 
authority and loyalty overall Fredo's shortcomings in the intelligence emotion and stability and respect would made him ill suited for the demanding role of a don conciliary a conciliary serves as the boss's counselor and mediator providing guidance on important decision and resolving disputes within the organization they are trusted advisors who offer strategic advice and help maintain order within the ranks Tom Hagen portrayed by Robert Duvall in The Godfather exemplifies the role of a conciliary providing legal and strategic counsel to the Corleone family if you notice in the first Godfather Vito was made a wartime conciliary under Michael leadership as the boss this was a very clever move as the strategy for the family was to go to war with the other families and that's why Tom Hager was replaced as he was not fit to play the conciliary role at that time Kappa regime captain Kappa regime the captains are in charge of individuals or crews or, or actions factions within the mafia they oversee a group of soldiers and they are responsible for carrying out the boss's orders within the respective territories Kappa regimes have significant author, autonomy and are expected to generate profits for the organizations while maintaining discipline among their subordinates the main captains in the godfather are clemenza and tessio clemenza he was a very is one of vito colio's trusted captains he appeared in the first film and was known for his loyalty and expertise in the organized crime clemenza dies off screen between the first and second film the next captain was Tessio, another loyal captain to Vito Corleone. Tessio betrays the family in The Godfather by attempting to arrange a hit on Michael. He is also later discovered and killed for his betrayal. Ross Associates In The Godfather Part 2, Ross was, has, has several associates who could have been considered captains. They are involved in various criminal activities but ultimately they are defeated by Michael Corleone's strategies, strategies and operations. Soldiers made men soldiers also known as made men are full members of the mafia who are sworn loyalty to the organization they carry out various criminal activities including extortion loan sharking racketeering on, beh racketeering on behalf of the family soldiers are expected to follow orders without questions and uphold the code of silence known as omerta to protect the interests of the organization once others in the hierarchy, if they work hard and smart, then one day they can move up the hierarchy. Associates Associates are individuals who work closely with the Mafia but are not formally inducted into the organization as made men. They may assist with criminal activities or provide valuable services such as legal or financial expertise for the Mafia. While associates have a lower status than made men, they can still benefit from association with the organization. To be made in the family, you need to be of Sicilian heritage. Thus, when people of other ethnic backgrounds work with the Mafia, such as the Blacks, Puerto Ricans, or Mexicans, as you see in the movies, they are seen as associates. This hierarchy structure, overall, this hierarchy structure allows the Mafia to operate efficiently and maintain control over its members while conducting illicit activities however it also creates opportunities for internal power struggles and conflicts as individuals vie for influence and authority within the organization in the godfather the, dy the dynamics of power and loyalty within the corleone family illustrates the complexity complexity of the mafia hierarchy and challenges of maintaining control in the criminal underworld so there you are guys the structure of the how the mafia works is very similar to the structure of organizations as well let me know what your thoughts are below and if you like this video i really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to this video and if there's any i think as you like me to cover again leave a comment below otherwise i'll see you in the next one